So let's discuss on the history of convolutional neural networks. So in the past, there were different neural networks, LENet, AlexNet, EzRFNet, GoogleNet, VGGNet, and ResNet. So these are different set of convolutional neural networks, which was designed for this ILSVRC challenge. So basically in that challenge, uh, it uses the ImageNet uh, large-scale visual recognition uh, dataset and it's trying to recognize the images. So this is the challenge. So when it started here in 2010, so the networks were really shallow and these are the error rate. So it started from 28.2, so in 2011 it was to 25.8, so the winners have produced this much of error. Here in AlexNet, it significantly goes down to 16.4, and in 2013 it goes to 11.7. And here you can see this one is a shallow one. This has eight layers. Again, eight layers doing uh, a bit better than the AlexNet. In here, 2014, VGG has 19 layers and significant decrease of accuracy below 10 here. And in GoogleNet comes to 22 layers and with the error rate of 6.7 so this is a significant improvement from 28.2 to 6.7 within four years and uh, by finally in 2015 these layers went up to 152 layers so training this kind of a uh, neural network it's uh, time consuming so here it went up to 152 layers and the error rate went down to 3.57 so this is the progression of different set of neural networks uh, used for solving this problem. So this is LENet 1998. So it has a convolution layer, pooling layer, again a set of convolution layers, again a pooling layer and hidden layer, and you get the output. So this is a very shallow network. Uh, AlexNet. So this is a very significant neural network, so it produced better results than the previous one. So this is one of the very famous convolution neural networks. So it has a set of uh, max pooling layers followed by uh, convolution layers. And so this is another interesting uh, convolution neural network in 2012. So this is the winner in that challenge in 2012. So AlexNet produce 15.3 percent of uh, top five error rate and previously it was 26 percent as I explained earlier so this is the winner for 2012 and AlexNet uses uh, five convolution layers three fully connected and it has redo layer and also a dropout so to reduce overfitting and reduce the gradient vanishing issues and as I explained earlier the overfitting is there so it uses dropout to reduce this one and they use 0.5 uh, ratio of 50 percent of dropout in the training time so but there are some issues when you reduce uh, oh actually when you increase the dropout so when you want to get the higher accuracy and the training time increases so when they increase the dropout they observe the significant increase of training time so that, that's a trade-off so you get less overfitting but the training time increases when you do drop out because we have to maintain high accuracy so there are another set of approaches used in this one they use a set of augmentations on the existing data so it's more like they look at the image in a different uh, point of view so this become uh, another point of view for the neural network to extract features so it had this horizontal reflection image translation and altering intensity of rgb channels so you can get more information by clicking these links here and get more information and also you can refer to the page the references are below and in the network in 2013 so it did some improvement on uh, AlexNet but it's not very significant so it's the winner it reduced the error rate by 0.5 percent the top five error rate so it has a set of convolution layers and again a set of uh, max pooling layers and finally it has the softmax layer to give the output so this didn't 
improved much, but still it's better, a bit better, and it's the winner in 2013. And finally, uh, when it comes to Google and they provide the inception, which was very impressive because previously we have this error rate of uh, value around 15 percent and this was diluted down to 6.67 percent in 2014. So this is very good. So this came from 28.2 percent to 6.67. So this is very impressive. So in this one, they have used a specific set of uh, features, a uh, specific set of uh, training models so they have used batch normalization and they have also added some image distortion and also the uh, gradient descent optimization that they have used here is RMS prop so it is a really important uh, aspect you need to use a uh, working gradient descent model so RMS prop it's an advanced way of learning the gradient uh, so that was used in Google net so if you take a look at the network so this is a very deep network uh, because previously they only had a few layers 8 to 10 layers and this in went increasing to 19 layers and afterwards it became 22 layers and then finally in the VGG net uh, we have another explanation uh, in the 2014 under the definition and creating a neural network which provides better accuracy so this was the winner in 2014 so it has set of uh, convolution layers which has different uh, size of filter sizes and followed by a fi softmax finally so you can refer to the paper here this is a very interesting paper if you are more focused on learning how to use convolution neural networks to solve problems so it's a very important paper and you can take a look at that as well uh, VGG is the runner up in 2014 so Google inception won the first place but the VGG was the second one so still it's a uh, far better uh, network than the previous ones but uh, it's not the winner this year but still it is a good one there are a lot to learn from this neural network architecture especially this convolution neural network architecture so it's better to take a look at the paper and this was the runner up in 2014 and if you take a look at the final one, the ResNet, so it has 152 layers. So it's a very deep neural network. Uh, it has lots of uh, convolutional layers followed by uh, other set of layers which uh, optimizes the training. And this diluted down the training error to 3. Point, uh, I'm sorry, the testing error to 3.57%. So if you go back here, you can yeah 3.57 percent so it's the best model uh, up to 2015 year so it has 152 layers so it seems the network has started uh, getting bigger and bigger so uh, this layer uh, this network has 152 layers uh, previous year it has only 22 layers so there's a significant improvement in the number of layers used for the uh, neural network but it reduces the error rate by just three percent but this is close enough for a higher accurate convolution neural network for image recognition in addition to that there's a, sp the a specific technique called skip connection used in uh, the ResNet so here it skips a few layers and does the training so increase the performance of the training and it also used the batch normalization which was used in uh, previous uh, inception uh, model designed by Google as well so here this brought the top fire down to 3.57 percent as I explained earlier so it seems like this was the best uh, it can go because this consumed up to a large number of layers so the training time is very high uh, so that's why different set of uh, techniques have been used to improve the training time uh, by skip connection so this is the summary of CNN usage so this is the year it has been used from 1998 to 2015 so different networks have been introduced and this is the number of parameters learned so it started with 60,000 parameters went up to 60 million in 2012 
and in 2014 it went up to 138 million parameters learned from the network so their rate came down to 3.57 roughly 3.6 percent so these are the networks and uh, VGG is not the winner uh, this year uh, Google Net was the winner but this was one of the very uh, interesting uh, neural networks uh, which gives you lots of uh, information on creating a neural network uh, these days people use uh, this model so VGGNet, uh, ResNet like uh, for the transient learning so you start from here and go beyond uh, in training models so it's reduced the training time in most of the uh, generative addressable -address networks when you are generating images you get some idea from the VGG net because it's it's more like a generalized uh, trained platform so where you can start from there and go deeper the main reason for using CNN is like CNN is very good in extracting features so as explained in the previous section a CNN can extract low level features and high level features so depending on your application you can use a CNN to extract these features so this is hard to be done with the uh, state-of-the-art uh, multi-layer perceptron we just use the dense layer followed by some activation layers and uh, soft mac layers to do the classification but here with the CNN you can extract different features so you can use different filters with different initializations uh, and you can use different filter size and you can use different pooling layers so you can extract different features so this is very important uh, convolution neural networks are really important when dealing with the uh, images so extracting features is one of the most important things so the way a uh, convolution network uh, neural networks can provide this feature extraction is very uh, interesting and it's very effective that's why it's one of the most prominent uh, neural networks that has been uh, developed by uh, researchers to get high accuracy when it comes to uh, image translation uh, image recognition problems.